Okay, we're in round two. Hopefully we can do a little bit better here. Uh, yeah. Gotta keep that. Got all of our colors. We've got plays. I almost want to open with the hypnotist. I think that makes more sense. For tempo purposes. All right. Ooh, another snare caster. It's a good sign. If he doesn't play a turn two creature, we're looking real pretty. Then we get to do sun guide. He does, in fact, have a turn two play, but. Good news for us. Nothing we have to worry about. Yet. Nothing we have to worry about yet. Uh, I feel like you should have played that post-combat. That would have been a better play, but who knows. Maybe he's just going to race and doesn't care. Not a care in the world. Now, there is an Anger of the Gods that we passed for a Phalanx Leader, no less. I just realized we didn't see Phalanx Leader in all three games. That's too bad. That would have been real useful. Um, is Savage Surge... Savage Surge doesn't hurt us anymore. That's kind of cool. Ooh, speaking of Phalanx Leader, huh? Uh, Alright, I well, guess we get in for four, huh? All right, follow up. Phalanx leader. Could do the snare caster too. I just like having that. Uh, this still kind of plays around anger. If I don't play snare caster, plus I still get some use out of them, potentially. And I believe I said our deck has eight cards that can trigger Heroic. I guess we have one in our hand right now, but that one is not going to come into uh, effect for a little bit. He did have the Anger. Okay, so he got good value on us. No doubt. This guy's the Anger, which really sucks. That makes me sad, because Anger just happens to be one of the best cards, I guess, besides Shipwreck Singer. That's just absolutely incredibly good against us. So, that's terrible news for us. It really is, like, the last card that I was hoping to play against in the draft. But, I guess we'll see how, how we do against it. Um, so, very disappointed about that. I was kind of hoping we didn't have to play against the Anger of the Gods guy since it's, like, literally one of the worst cards that could possibly be played against us. Yeah. So we're going to tap that, attack for two. Otherwise, maybe just play Archon instead. I don't know yet. guess I'd rather be able to play against, play around Rage of Perforos or something like that. But, what, I'm just playing Snarecaster to get in for two. Hardly seems worth it, but I'm going to do it anyway. I really don't want to lose my Celestial Archon to uh, Rage of Perforos, and we're only two mana away from bestowing it, so 
I think we just have to chill out for a little bit. Yeah, I think the, the part about playing against Anger of Gods that makes me most upset is there's only two board sweepers in this entire format, and that's Anger of the Gods, which is rare, and Drown in Sorrow, which is black and uncommon. So we've got the worst one, which means every single play I do has to be measured with how badly is Anger of the Gods going to destroy me here. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty useful. Alright, well, I may not be in a position to uh, wait around. Oh, well. Well, even playing Battlewise Valor still two for ones myself? I don't like that. Snarecaster, on the other hand. He will get an inspired trigger, though. But that's okay. Could do a snare caster of his own. Get in for uh, eight. No, nope, he copied that guy. Alright, he's leaving behind his Spellbinder, or Spirit Binder, rather. Well, let's see what his follow-up play is. And it's a four drop, which kind of sucks. Three cards left in hand. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that guy's cool and all, but... Uh, I guess we just play Archon now. We're just not getting the seventh land, I don't think, so... I think it's time to go for it. Hope he doesn't have Rage of Perforos. All right. Oh, time to feed. That's what I'm expecting. He's going to eat our Archon. Otherwise, I don't know why he would do that. If we can dodge time to feed, I'm going to feel pretty good. All right, gonna chump block here. Whoa, Ski screen goes crazy. All right, if I take four damage, how much trouble am I in? I don't know. I don't know. I think we just double block here. He almost certainly has a trick. I should have blocked 
here and here. I don't know why I didn't. I think I'm just fearful of losing my Archon. So he can copy the Centaur and get another 3-7. Nah, he'll copy the Archon and get a 4-4. Four, four. So that's not good. If he doesn't have a trick, though, then at least he loses his Spellbinder. Unfortunately, he had one of the greatest. So my block was absolutely horrendously bad. Should have blocked the Acolyte, so I could have at least taken that out. Now I'm just going to... Uh take a bunch of damage next turn. Yeah, it's actually the difference between lethal and going to 1, 2, so everything about that is just extremely aggravating. Um, but my own fault. I'm apparently making bad decisions here for some reason. Making bad decisions and playing against difficult cards. I don't like this. This is not cool. Okay, so now I have to do mathematics. He's going to untap this. He's going to copy my Archon. He's going to at least get in for four. And then if I can chump block these two, I kill him next turn. So as long as these two live, I should win next turn. Let's see if that ends up, ends up happening. Is it you control? Alright. Not sure why I copied that one, but it's okay. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, despite anger of the gods, we did manage to take game one. Oddly enough, I think he should have copied the archon. It would have been a little more damage output. Maybe he just thought it was his creatures only. I'm okay with that. All right. So what can I do against the anger of the gods? Not much. Play four toughness guys, but this guy just sucks. That doesn't seem like a good idea. This guy, on the other hand. Um, not even that good against anger because it exiles the creatures so I wouldn't even be able to get uh, any of my bestow guys back sadly um, if I mean if they get exiled in their creature form but uh, I guess I still would be able to get aqueous form and stuff back did we see stuff that I can revoke yeah feral invocation the 
big issue with feral invocation is it's instant speed, so he's still going to be able to get value off of it before I can revoke it. So revoke is looking a lot less sexy uh, because of that. Mm, he had zero flyers. Maybe we try the old Fleet Feather Sandals juke again. Yeah, it worked so well. Match one, right? Uh, let's just try it again. Mm, this hand's okay. Potentially good. I actually like the idea of deep water hypnotist with aqueous form, but I think obviously I'd much rather do it on a phalanx leader for value. But perhaps we don't have to commit as much. Ooh. Well, that's pretty good. I think we open with hypnotist. So in next turn I can do Phalanx Leader Aqueous Form. I can also Fleet Feather Sandals maybe? Alright, well he's committing creatures to the board so that kind of indicates to me that it's okay to go in a little bit. Hmm. Um, let's make this trade. I'm willing to make this trade. Okay. I'm glad he didn't. Because now I think we're going to do... Skyguard and next turn leader Aqueous form. I think that's what we're going to do. Faking like we have God's willing. I'm not going to make the trade. Yeah, it's alright. Theoretically, we should still be able to race this. Yeah, that was a pretty lousy draw. So now if he does angry, only four, four, threes us or something. Or three for fours us. Yeah. 
All right. Hmm. Seems like an odd choice. And interesting. All right. Well, despite the bad draws, we're still keeping busy. Definitely in race mode. Um, I have to think about that. What does this do for me? He he attacks, and then what am I digging for? If I don't want a creature, what do I want? That's the real question. Because remember, I'm dodging lands here too. So how bad is the Resco Sun Guide? Uh, it's good with Fleet Feather Sandals. I guess, can I even cast Sea God's Revenge? Yeah, I think we're digging for... There's more important cards we could dig for. There is, in fact, more relevant cards here. I guess the Sun Guide wouldn't have been bad because I could just equip the sandals to it, which is true. So it's at least progressing the board, whereas the land doesn't do anything. But I do think that Sea God's Revenge or Celestial Archon or Nimbus Nyad or maybe even a Wave Crash Triton or something might have potentially more... Good abilities. Well, he's got a swing of the wolf, right? He knows that he can't block with it. Okay. He's correctly decided to attack with Nyxborn Wolf. Alright, wait a second. Um, why would you not buff your Nyxborn Wolf? That doesn't make sense. Okay. And he's got Nylia, but he's dead? Very strange. Alright, well I guess we got the match somehow. That was a very strange game. Uh, despite our opponent having tools, I would say, are very well suited to defeat us in the form of Anger of the Gods, Coordinated Assault. I guess Nylia if it goes unchecked, but she takes a little while. Uh, I guess this card's not that good against us. And this guy, eh, he's okay against us. Feral Invocation's very good against us. Coordinated Assault is and Anger. But none of those really came to play all that much this game. So, alright, I'll see you in the last round.